staying in Statesboro, it was a rather quiet national signing day after inking 19 football players in December during the early signing period. Wednesday, the Eagles rounding out its 2023 class with two high school seniors. One of those recruits from the 912 Effingham County wide receiver Keon Wallace, a two time Big 22 selection who had scholarship offers from West Virginia, Ole Miss and Georgia Tech. Yet yeah, just to name a few, Wallace choosing to stay close to home and play for second year head coach Clay Helton. Eagles also signing defensive back Cayman Mathis out of Texas, the three star recruit who just guided DeSoto High School to a state championship, choosing Georgia Southern over nearly 30 schools. We had two young men that we had to fight and uh, a lot for, uh, and and that's what you have to do to produce a championship football team is compete. And I'd like to introduce Keon Wallace from Effingham, a six foot three, two hundred and ten pound athlete that's going to be a tremendous receiver for us. Came this last weekend, thank God, had a great visit. Uh, now he's a Georgia Southern Eagle. We also bring in uh, Cayman Mathis, uh, one of the top DBs that we feel in the country. Cayman came in this past weekend again a kid that had multiple power five offers and we tried to go acquire the best of the best to finish this class out and a tremendous job by our staff getting that done. Helton and company officially have 36 new players on the 2023 team.